up guys, Skarander here, and welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with me. Today I'm going against Noble Co. He's a great Pocketuber, definitely check him out. He's been around for some time, he's usually lingering in the higher tiers, but do mixed tiers. And for this specific game, I actually wanted to try out his new Enu team. So I was really glad because, um, well, I thought I had a fighting chance, that is. And also, you know, I love battling other Pocketubers because, you know, getting people together in different tiers are actually really funny. Uh, other than that, I mean, I should introduce his team. It is a very, very hard-hitting team. Leafion here, we've got the Dusknoir, we've got the Samroth, uh, which is great. And then you Oxelgo, uh, which I don't get because he's so strong. It's so annoyingly strong. Uh, Lyperd, I mean, it's a generic set. And that's good for Swallow too. Uh, generic set with this, you know, with the Guts facade thing. Very hard to take on because it hits too hard. Uh, and I'm using almost the same team that I got around for some time. Uh, the only differentiation here is that I bring a Magneton. And I'm just bringing him for, well, the obvious thing. And the obvious thing being that um, I needed a defensive wall. And I, you know, either both Jeff, uh, my Caracosta, and Omastar did not <laughs> bring that to my team. But Magneton does. So, yeah, really glad to do that. Because that is the only thing on my team, you know, that can do anything against a Swallow. Uh, so I had a mindset that I need to keep, keep this one around. So anyway guys, I mean, don't forget to know, like and subscribe now if you're around. Uh, the likes helped me actually a lot here because I do reach a lot of other players. So I do appreciate getting a like because, yeah, like I said, <laughs> I do want to be bigger. Yeah, that's it actually. So nevertheless guys, uh, this is the last bit I'll upload for this week. Uh, don't worry though, it's one of the best one I had sometimes, so you don't need to worry about it. So anyway guys, let's actually get to it. So in the beginning here, I didn't know what to expect, I just thought I might as well bring Mag Mortar. We just scarfed and probably outspeed anything on his team. He will decide to go for the Swallow, so I was thinking, yeah, you know what, that is actually fine. Go for a quick attack, that's it then. So he's gonna show him the Thunderbolt. He will go for a U-turn here, pretty much showing me that even though I am scarfed, he is faster. So I should be really glad they did not go for a facade at that point. So Thunderbolt would do around 4% of this guy, I mean, I am definitely not in 2 hit KO range. And I won't risk it, so I'm just gonna go with Goliath with Quick Fat and Assault Vest. Really glad I did that, though Leafeon will prove to be <laughs> some of the challenge here. Uh, I just went for Earthquake because I thought it was less risky. Aerial AC will do around 1 fourth, but the knockoff will hurt me even more because of the Rocky Helmet. So real annoying because that puts Hiriyama in a very bad position, losing almost 50% of his HP at the moment. So anyway, Magneton is wall walling Leafeon really well here. I was kind of fearing it had superpower. He'll predict me to go for a flash gun here. I do a lot of damage, but it is resisted and it makes it survive. So going into uh, Hiriyama once again, you know, the thick bat is definitely working for me. Even though that is a crit, I still survive with Assault Fest. And I'm gonna go for a bullet punch here, and he see right through him at this point. Uh, this won't do like anything against Leafeon, and I don't want to sack on Hiriyama just yet. So I'm just gonna go to my Grecta. He's going to synthesis, which is great. Uh, I'm gonna expect him to switch out here because he can't take a lot of bloom. So I go into Thunderbolt. Luckily for me, he goes for Samurai here. He's losing 50% of his HP here. Though I do know these guys have Aqua Jet. I don't want to say him. That's the case. Go into my Sesmato with the Water Absorb. And he definitely saw that one coming. So I'm pretty much forced to sack off Kiriyama here. So we both lose our, <laughs> our first pokes here. Uh, he's died with a recall of the life of there, and I obviously die of damage itself. So at this point, was somewhat in a bad position. I decided to bring in, uh, my master in and try to set up Quiver Dance. He goes for Swallow, and I mean, I can't stay on this one. I don't wanna, you know, I could have probably gone going to stay in for a Brave Bird and go for an Iceman afterwards, but I don't want my master in to go down like that. So anyway, Magneton is walling that really well. He's going for a U turn here, and I mean, I am still one fifth of my HP, so I'm actually really fine here. So Dustin is coming in, I'm just gonna go for Thunderbolt, you know, having done Lick this gone. Pretty much, you know, bringing in sort of 50% down. Uh, and I go for another Thunderbolt because I know I'm not faster. Uh, next, this Excel goal will actually go down to its Sash. So at this point, didn't want to see him because I know this thing are wearing Focus uh, focus Blast. And he hits that Focus Blast. The Masquerade is four times resisted. So, you know, that that is really fine. He could have gone for a Sludge Bomb here. I actually decided to go for Quiver Dance. Should have gone for Ice Beam and tried to finish it off really. So somewhat annoying because I can't outspeed this to swallow. And now that my sash is worn down or worn out, I can't use it. So I, I really need to switch back into my Behringer. 
And Facade does too much. Uh, I can't stay in. Or I have to stay in, but I need to uh, recover because this Wallow is gonna sweep my team because I don't have the Bullet Punch left and I, I have actually nothing to deal with it. So this time, you know, it sucks that I need to go for rest because then I can only use a Sleep Target <laughs> best. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm somewhat worn down here because I can't, like I said, use Magneton properly now. So I go into my Masquerade. Just try to threaten him, really. Uh, I know I can't do any like, real damage here, which is gonna get intimidated off, and then go to my <laughs> Sceptal here. You know what Sceptal does. The only thing it's good at, that is the Leaf Storm, and you know, take out whatever is in front of him. Awesome. I love that move so much. <laughs> so yeah, at this point, Exelgo is still one of the biggest threats here. I'm just gonna go for um, Masquerade here. He's the right, or no, he does the right through me, but Slush Bomb does too much. So a bad move on my side to just have um, <laughs> Sacked mask or my Sceptile right there. So sadly here, you know, I take the awkward jet, but don't take him out with um, Bug Buzz here. So I don't want to sack up mask right there because the Intimidate will help me out. Plus, the awkward jet is recovering HP here. So I'm gonna get the poison jab up. I was kind of hoping it would switch out to Leafeon because I can't stay in on a Leafeon. And he's here right through me, I'm gonna do a double switch here, puts me in a really bad position because Beringer can't do anything here, he can't take a Focus Blast, I know for a fact he can't take a Focus Blast, and he hits yet again with the Focus Blast, awesome. <laughs> so anyway, Ber my Gringer here is in a better position, I'm just gonna go for Lava Plume, pretty much taking out the Leaf, you know, one shot it. Do you know what, that was actually a great move there, but I was thinking I probably can take a Sarge. Cannot. Um, <laughs> really sucks. And I just gonna bring my result here. And I survive on one HP. You guys are not seeing it, but surviving one freaking HP. I should have just gone with Masquerade instead and lowered its, <laughs> lower its attack. Really, really risky move from my side there. So anyway, the Exodus will take me out there without a doubt. And I'm just gonna bring in Masquerade, you know, to the lols because I can't use it. It's it isn't work like even keep around. So it will come down to if Berenger can, you know, survive a Focus Blast. So let's see here, guys. I mean, this was... I was so nervous. This is my last Pokes there. I mean, even though I survived a Focus Blast, it's not entirely sure. Like, it, <laughs> I can get a Sleep Talk here off and get an attacking move. So do survive with 2 HP. So I'm just gonna go, like I said, at the Rest Talk and pray to the gods. Please. Let me be able to kill this foul fiend. And what do Berenger do? He does what he was made to be doing. And Thunderbolt that bitch out of... <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so glad I pulled that one off because it was so close. I mean, I wouldn't have cared I lost. You know, when it comes down to the last pokes, you know, you, you just don't care. You just enjoy the ride. And I, this was definitely one of the best spells I had in some... So anyway, guys, as always, you know... Thank you, really, for watching these battles. I do appreciate you know leaving the likes and stuff like that. He means a lot to me. And uh, you know, check out Noble Co too. He's like I said, a great battler and is a very very good person too. And he do a daily upload, so definitely, definitely check him out. So other than that, guys, I mean, I'll be around in Twitter, but I won't upload any games for the next this week. So other than that, I mean, thank you guys for watching as always, and well, <clears throat> bye.